Life is full of choices, each one leading us down a different path. The philosophy of Stoicism, taught by thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, offers powerful guidance on making decisions that can deeply impact our lives. In this video, we'll explore 10 life-changing decisions inspired by Stoic principles. These aren't just quick decisions, they're intentional choices that align with the core ideas of Stoicism, guiding us toward wisdom, resilience, and purpose. Before we begin, if you find value in our content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, let's dive into these decisions that can transform your life through the wisdom of the Stoics. 1. Say yes to what truly matters. Every time we say yes to something, we're choosing to spend our time and energy on it. This means that every yes comes with a no to something else. Seneca once said, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This reminds us to be more thoughtful about our commitments. How often do we say yes out of habit or obligation, only to later realize it didn't add value to our lives? To focus on what truly matters, take a moment to reflect on your priorities. Ask yourself, is this really important? Will it matter in a year, five years, or ten years? This helps you filter out distractions and focus on what aligns with your values and long-term goals. For example, spending time with loved ones is far more fulfilling than getting caught up in trivial social media debates. One enriches your life, while the other often causes unnecessary stress. Saying yes to what matters doesn't always involve big life decisions. It's also about the small everyday choices that shape our lives. Imagine starting your day with a few moments of gratitude, appreciating the simple gift of life. As Marcus Aurelius suggested, this simple practice can set a positive tone for the day and help you appreciate the little things that often go unnoticed. Stoicism teaches us to cherish life and live purposefully. This means recognizing that every moment is a gift and should be used wisely. Each day offers opportunities to practice this principle, whether it's working on a meaningful project, having deep conversations, or simply enjoying a moment of quiet reflection. These choices bring us closer to our true selves. It's also important to remember that saying yes to what matters often means saying no to what doesn't. This can be difficult, especially when it involves letting go of habits, commitments, or relationships that no longer serve us. But by doing so, we create space for what truly resonates with our core values. As the Stoics would say, this isn't about depriving ourselves, but about making room for abundance where it counts. 2. Embrace Discipline Discipline begins with recognizing that each day presents us with countless choices. Some are simple, like deciding what to eat for breakfast, while others are more significant, like how to respond to a difficult situation. Regardless of the scale, each choice is an opportunity to practice discipline. It's about consistently making decisions that align with our values and long-term goals, even when it's tough. Consider the daily habits that shape your life. Stoicism teaches us the importance of routines and practices that cultivate a disciplined mind. For example, starting the day with reflection or meditation can help you stay focused and intentional. This practice, which Marcus Aurelius himself followed, centers your thoughts and prepares you for the challenges ahead. In these quiet moments, we build the mental strength needed to handle adversity. Seneca emphasized that we become what we think about most of the time. This highlights the importance of disciplined thinking. By training our minds to focus on what we can control and letting go of what we can't, we create a sense of inner peace and strength. This mental discipline isn't about suppressing emotions, but about managing them in a way that benefits us. Physical discipline is just as important. The Stoics believed that caring for our bodies is a way of respecting ourselves and the life we've been given. Regular exercise, mindful eating, and getting enough rest aren't just about staying healthy, they help us build resilience. When our bodies are strong and well-nourished, our minds are better equipped to handle stress and challenges. Discipline also means having the courage to say no to distractions and temptations that pull us away from our goals. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get sidetracked by social media, endless entertainment, or procrastination. Stoicism teaches us to stay true to our path by prioritizing what's truly important, even if it means giving up immediate pleasures for long-term fulfillment. This might involve setting boundaries creating a structured schedule, or simply being mindful of how we spend our time. It's important to remember that discipline is a practice, not a destination. There will be days when we falter, lose motivation, or give in to distractions. The key is to approach these moments with self-compassion and a commitment to get back on track. 
Stoicism encourages us to see each day as a new beginning, a chance to start fresh with renewed focus and determination. As Seneca wisely said, begin at once to live, and count each separate day as a separate life. Incorporating discipline into our lives changes the way we approach both the ordinary and the extraordinary. It empowers us to live with intention, make choices that reflect our values, and face challenges with courage and grace. By embracing the stoic principles of discipline, we take control of our lives and steer them in a direction that aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. Every small action and daily habit contributes to the larger tapestry of our lives, and by practicing discipline, we can navigate life with purpose and strength. Life is unpredictable, but by embracing strength and purpose, we can create a life filled with meaning and fulfillment. Let's commit to being disciplined, harnessing the power of our minds, and living each day with intention and resilience. 3. Don't suffer before it's necessary. Seneca once wisely said, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. This statement highlights how much of our suffering comes from our minds, imagining worst-case scenarios that may never actually happen. Think about how often we let our minds drift into the future, worrying about things like an upcoming presentation at work, possible health issues, or financial instability. While some preparation is necessary, letting these fears dominate our thoughts only leads to stress and anxiety. Stoicism teaches us to stay grounded in the present and handle problems as they come, rather than being weighed down by imagined troubles. Marcus Aurelius offers great advice in his book Meditations, do not disturb yourself by picturing your life as a whole. Don't bundle past and future worries into one overwhelming burden. Instead, focus on the present, tackling one challenge at a time with calmness and clarity. Our minds have a remarkable ability to imagine vivid scenarios. While this imagination can lead to creativity and dreams, it can also spiral into fear and anxiety. The Stoics understood this duality and emphasized using our imagination for positive purposes, rather than letting it create unnecessary suffering. By focusing on what's real and immediate, we can conserve our mental energy for dealing with actual problems rather than imagined ones. Another key aspect of not suffering before it's necessary is accepting uncertainty. Life is unpredictable, and trying to control every outcome only leads to frustration. Stoicism teaches us to accept what we can't control and focus on what we can influence. The Serenity Prayer beautifully summarizes this mindset. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. By incorporating this stoic approach into our daily lives, we can transform the way we handle stress and anxiety. When faced with uncertainty, remind yourself of Seneca's wisdom, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Take a deep breath, focus on the present moment, and ask yourself, what can I do right now that's constructive and within my control? This shift in perspective can greatly reduce unnecessary suffering and help you approach life's uncertainties with calmness and confidence. 4. Stop wasting time. Seneca perfectly captured the importance of time when he wrote, putting things off is the biggest waste of life. This statement challenges us to think about how often we procrastinate, delay, or waste precious time on activities that don't add much value to our lives. In today's world, filled with distractions like social media, streaming services, and instant messaging, Seneca's advice is more relevant than ever. While these tools can offer relaxation and connection, it's important to recognize when they're pulling us away from meaningful activities. Seneca's wisdom urges us to take a hard look at how we spend our time and reclaim it for things that truly matter. Procrastination, often called the thief of time, is another major obstacle. It's that habit of delaying tasks and convincing ourselves that tomorrow will be a better day to start. But the Stoics remind us that tomorrow is never guaranteed. Marcus Aurelius advised, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do, say, and think. This powerful reminder of life's uncertainty should push us to act with urgency and purpose. By understanding that our time is limited, we can stop procrastinating and start working on our goals and dreams today. Each day we delay is a day we lose in moving closer to our dreams. The Stoic approach is to begin at once living each day as if it were our last, fully embracing the present moment. Another important part of stopping the waste of time is prioritizing what matters most. Stoicism teaches us to identify our core values and align our actions with them. For example, if personal growth is important to us, we might prioritize reading, learning new skills, or practicing mindfulness. If relationships are a priority, 
we should make time for meaningful conversations with loved ones. By focusing on what truly matters, we ensure our time is spent on activities that enrich our lives and align with our purpose. Mindfulness also plays a key role in how we use our time. Being present and intentional in everything we do, whether it's working on a project, exercising, or spending time with family, helps us make the most of our time. The Stoics encourage us to be fully engaged in our activities, enhancing our productivity and overall sense of fulfillment. Reflecting on mortality, a Stoic practice known as memento mori, can also motivate us to stop wasting time. By contemplating the finite nature of life, we gain clarity on what's truly important. This reflection isn't meant to be morbid, but rather a source of inspiration to live fully and intentionally. When we recognize that our time is limited, we become more aware of the choices we make and more determined to make each moment count. To eliminate time-wasting habits, we need to consciously set boundaries and create a structured routine. This could mean setting specific times for checking emails or social media, dedicating blocks of time to focused work, and making sure we allocate time for rest and relaxation. A well-structured routine helps us stay on track and prevents us from drifting into aimless activities. By being intentional with our schedule, we can maximize productivity and use our time effectively. It's also important to remember that rest is not a waste of time. The Stoics believed in balance and moderation, understanding that a well-rested mind is more capable of focused and meaningful work. So schedule your downtime just as you would any important task, and use it to recharge and refresh your mind and body. 5. Control your emotions. Emotions are a natural part of being human. They add depth and richness to our lives, but they can also be overwhelming if not properly managed. The Stoics recognize that while we can't always control what happens to us, we can control how we respond to it. This ability to choose our response is where true freedom lies. Seneca emphasized this when he said, He who is brave is free. In this context, bravery means having the courage to face our emotions and master them, rather than letting them control us. One way to control your emotions is through mindfulness. By becoming more aware of your thoughts and feelings as they arise, you create a space between the trigger and your response. This space allows you to choose how you want to react, rather than being swept away by your initial emotional impulses. For example, if someone says something hurtful, instead of reacting with anger, you can take a moment to breathe, observe your feelings, and respond calmly. This mindful approach, rooted in Stoic teachings, leads to more harmonious interactions and inner peace. Another Stoic technique for managing emotions is cognitive distancing, which involves viewing your emotions from a detached perspective. Marcus Aurelius often reminded himself that the mind has the power to separate itself from negative emotions. He wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. By seeing emotions as temporary states, rather than defining traits, you can reduce their impact on you. This helps you understand that while emotions are natural, they don't have to dictate your actions or mood. The Stoics also stressed the importance of examining the stories we tell ourselves. Often, our emotional reactions are based on the narratives we construct about our experiences. For example, if we fail at a task, we might tell ourselves we're incompetent. These stories amplify negative emotions and create unnecessary suffering. Instead, the Stoics encourage us to challenge these stories and replace them with constructive ones. For instance, instead of viewing failure as a reflection of our worth, we can see it as a learning opportunity and a step toward growth. Emotional regulation isn't about suppressing or denying feelings, it's about understanding and managing them in a healthy way. The Stoics valued rationality and reason as tools for navigating emotions. By engaging your rational mind, you can assess your feelings and decide on the best course of action. This doesn't mean ignoring emotions but rather integrating them into your decision-making process in a balanced way. Self-compassion also plays a role in emotional regulation. The Stoics believed in kindness towards oneself, recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and experiences emotional turmoil. Practicing self-compassion helps you navigate emotions with greater ease and reduces the self-criticism that often accompanies negative feelings. This gentle approach allows you to process emotions without getting stuck in them. Focusing on what's within your control is another key aspect of managing emotions. The Stoics taught that while we can't control external events, we can control our reactions to them. This principle is captured in the Serenity Prayer, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. By directing your energy toward what you can influence, 
you avoid the frustration of trying to control the uncontrollable. This focus on internal control helps you manage emotions more effectively and maintain a sense of agency in your life. Practicing gratitude can also be a powerful tool for emotional regulation. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the good things in his life to counterbalance negative emotions. By focusing on what you're grateful for, you can shift your mindset and reduce the intensity of negative emotions. By regularly focusing on the positive aspects of our lives, we can shift our attention away from what's missing or troubling us and toward what brings us joy and fulfillment. This habit helps create a more positive emotional state, making it easier to handle tough emotions when they arise. It's also essential to recognize the importance of emotional resilience, which is the ability to bounce back from setbacks. The Stoics believed that facing and overcoming challenges strengthens our character and emotional toughness. As Seneca put it, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor strengthens the body. By embracing challenges and viewing them as opportunities for growth, we can build resilience and become better at managing difficult emotions. This resilience helps us recover more quickly from setbacks and maintain our emotional balance. 6. Focus on how far you can still go. Think of your life as a journey along a winding path. While it's natural to look back at the distance you've covered, true stoic wisdom lies in looking forward. Each step you take moves you closer to new opportunities for growth, learning, and discovery. By focusing on how far you can still go, you stay open to the possibilities ahead rather than being weighed down by past experiences. Marcus Aurelius advised, don't trouble yourself by thinking about your life as a whole. Don't dwell on the many challenges you've faced or will face. This advice encourages us to live in the present and focus on our next steps. Breaking down our journey into manageable parts helps us appreciate our progress and maintain a forward-looking mindset. We all have untapped potential that can only be realized by continually striving forward. The Stoics believed that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Seneca said it well, it's not because things are difficult that we don't dare, it's because we don't dare that things are difficult. This mindset encourages us to embrace challenges as stepping stones to greater achievements. When we focus on how far we can still go, we cultivate resilience and determination, viewing obstacles as chances to stretch our abilities and grow. While reflecting on past successes and failures is important, we shouldn't let them define our future. Success can lead to complacency, while failure can cause discouragement. Stoicism teaches us to learn from both, but keep our eyes on the horizon. Each day is a new opportunity to build on what we've learned and strive toward our goals, keeping us dynamic and moving forward. Another key Stoic principle is the idea of continuous improvement, similar to the Japanese concept of Kaizen. The Stoics emphasized the importance of daily progress, no matter how small. Marcus Aurelius advised, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. B1. This call to action encourages us to live our values and make small improvements each day. By focusing on how far we can still go, we embrace the journey of self-improvement and strive to become the best versions of ourselves. Visualizing future possibilities can be incredibly motivating. When we focus on what we can achieve, we're more likely to take proactive steps toward our goals. This forward-thinking approach aligns with the stoic practice of imagining future scenarios to prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally. By doing so, we build the confidence and readiness to tackle whatever comes our way. This practice doesn't just prepare us for adversity, it also inspires us to pursue our goals with enthusiasm. Moreover, focusing on how far we can still go fosters a growth mindset the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. This contrasts with a fixed mindset, which sees abilities as static. The Stoics believed in the power of self-improvement and growth. By adopting this mindset, we view challenges as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as insurmountable obstacles. Gratitude also plays a role in this context. While striving for future goals is essential, it's equally important to appreciate the progress we've made and the opportunities ahead. Gratitude for our journey so far can fuel our motivation to keep moving forward. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the good things in his life, which helped him maintain a balanced perspective. By cultivating gratitude, we can acknowledge our achievements and the path ahead with optimism and determination. 7. Take care of others. Picture life as a grand symphony, where each person represents a unique note. When we come together in harmony, we create a beautiful melody that transcends time. The Stoics believed that every action we take should contribute to the greater good and enhance the well-being of others. 
Seneca wrote, no one can live happily if they only care about themselves. This wisdom teaches us that true happiness and fulfillment come from looking beyond our needs and considering how we can support and uplift those around us. One of the simplest yet most powerful ways to care for others is through acts of kindness. A smile, a kind word, or a helping hand can create a ripple effect, spreading positivity far beyond the initial gesture. Think about a time when someone showed you kindness. How did it make you feel? Chances are, it lifted your spirits and perhaps even inspired you to pay it forward. Marcus Aurelius noted, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By cultivating positive thoughts and extending kindness to others, we not only improve their lives but also enhance our own. The Stoics also emphasize the importance of empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Empathy allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, fostering mutual understanding and support. Seneca advised, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. This perspective encourages us to empathize with others, listen to their stories, and offer our support. Empathy is not about solving someone else's problems, but about being present and showing that we care. Taking care of others also involves recognizing our role within the community. The Stoics believed that we all have a part to play in the larger societal framework. Marcus Aurelius wrote, What injures the hive injures the bee. This analogy reminds us that when we harm or neglect others, we ultimately harm ourselves. Conversely, by contributing positively to our community, we create an environment where everyone can thrive. This sense of social responsibility encourages us to engage in activities that benefit others, whether through volunteer work, supporting local initiatives, or simply being a good neighbor. The stoic principle of caring for others extends to our close relationships, our family, friends, and loved ones. These relationships are essential to our well-being and happiness. Seneca wrote extensively about the importance of friendship, stating, there is no enjoyment in having something valuable unless you have someone to share it with. By nurturing these bonds and being there for our loved ones, we create a support system that enriches our lives and provides strength during tough times. However, taking care of others doesn't mean neglecting ourselves. The Stoics taught that self-care is crucial to being able to care for others effectively. We must ensure that we are physically, mentally, and emotionally well so that we have the capacity to support those around us. Seneca noted, you must live for another if you wish to live for yourself. By maintaining our well-being, we can be more present and available for others. Generosity is another aspect of caring for others. This doesn't always mean giving material things. It can also mean offering our time, attention, and skills. Volunteering for a cause, mentoring someone, or simply being a good listener are all forms of generosity that can make a significant difference in someone's life. Marcus Aurelius reminded us to act with a sense of duty and contribution. Do every act of your life as though it were the last act of your life. This mindset encourages us to give our best in every interaction and leave a positive impact. The practice of caring for others also aligns with the stoic virtue of justice, which involves treating others with fairness, respect, and kindness. It's about recognizing the inherent worth of every individual and acting in ways that uphold their dignity. Seneca advised, treat your inferiors as you would be treated by your superiors. This golden rule of empathy and fairness ensures that our actions contribute to the well-being of all. In practical terms, caring for others can be integrated into our daily routines. Simple acts like checking in on a friend, offering to help a colleague, or expressing gratitude can create a supportive and positive environment. These small gestures accumulate over time, building strong networks of trust and mutual assistance. The Stoics believed that these daily practices of kindness and support are the building blocks of a good life. 8. Focus on what you can control. Imagine life as a vast, unpredictable ocean. The waves, currents, and weather represent the various external forces beyond our control. While we can't change the direction of the wind or the height of the waves, we can adjust our sails and steer our ship. This metaphor beautifully captures the essence of focusing on what we can control, our actions, attitudes, and mindset. By taking charge of these aspects, we can navigate even the stormiest seas with grace and confidence. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the idea that we have control over our minds, not external events. In his writings, he said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This concept highlights that while we can't always control what happens to us, we can control how we think about and respond to those events. 
By training ourselves to think clearly and rationally, we can stay calm even in tough situations. One way to apply this idea is by managing our emotions. Feelings like anger, fear, and frustration often come from things we can't control. However, by focusing on how we react internally, we can choose to stay calm and think things through instead of letting emotions take over. For example, if someone unfairly criticizes us, we might initially feel angry or defensive. But if we take a moment to pause and reflect, we can choose a more constructive response, like trying to understand the criticism or simply letting it go. The Stoics also emphasized accepting reality as it is. This doesn't mean giving up, but rather recognizing the truth of our circumstances. Epictetus taught, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. By accepting what we can't change, we free ourselves from unnecessary frustration and can focus on what we can control. For instance, if you have a difficult coworker, you can't control their behavior, but you can control how you respond, by staying professional, setting boundaries, and maintaining a positive attitude. Another aspect of focusing on what we can control is setting realistic and achievable goals. The Stoics believed in living with purpose. By setting goals that align with our values and are within our control, we create a sense of direction and fulfillment. For example, while you can't control whether you get a promotion, you can control how hard you work, your attitude, and your professional development. By focusing on these factors, you increase your chances of success and satisfaction. In the realm of personal development, being willing to look foolish can accelerate our growth. Whether it's trying a new fitness routine, starting a business, or learning a new craft, the early stages are often uncertain and awkward. The stoic practice of negative visualization, where we imagine the worst-case scenario, can help us prepare mentally for these challenges. By anticipating difficulties and accepting them, we can approach new endeavors with confidence, knowing that any embarrassment or failure is temporary and valuable. Lastly, seek challenges. Seneca captured this idea when he said, difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor strengthens the body. This wisdom highlights that just as physical exercise builds muscle, mental and emotional challenges build resilience and character. Embracing challenges starts with a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing obstacles as threats, the Stoics encourage us to see them as opportunities for growth. Marcus Aurelius often reminded himself that the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This mindset teaches us to welcome challenges as stepping stones to progress. In our personal lives, challenges push us beyond our comfort zones, whether it's learning a new skill, starting a fitness journey, or pursuing a career goal. The initial discomfort is where the most significant growth occurs. By challenging ourselves, we discover our true potential and capabilities. In our professional lives, seeking challenges can lead to significant advancements. Taking on demanding projects or stepping into leadership roles pushes our boundaries and offers opportunities to make meaningful contributions. The Stoics encourage us to approach these opportunities with a mindset of growth and learning. Moreover, seeking challenges fosters a growth mindset, the belief that our abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. This mindset contrasts with a fixed mindset, which sees abilities as unchangeable. By adopting a growth mindset, we can approach challenges as opportunities to learn and evolve. The practice of seeking challenges also enhances our resilience. Seneca wrote, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. By facing difficulties, we build the mental and emotional strength needed to withstand future hardships. This resilience enables us to stay focused and determined even in the face of setbacks. Seeking challenges can also deepen our empathy and understanding of others. When we experience struggle and perseverance, we gain compassion for others facing their own challenges. Marcus Aurelius reflected on the interconnectedness of humanity noting that by embracing challenges, we contribute to the collective strength of our communities. It's important to note that seeking challenges doesn't mean taking on every difficult task that comes our way. The Stoics advocated for wisdom in choosing our battles. We should seek out challenges that align with our values and offer meaningful opportunities for growth. In relationships, seeking challenges can strengthen our connections. Whether it's resolving conflicts, supporting a loved one, or working on personal growth, these challenges require effort and commitment. By facing them head-on, we demonstrate our dedication and love, leading to stronger, more resilient relationships. Thank you for being part of this journey toward a resilient and purposeful life. If you found value in today's insights, 
Continue exploring by watching the next video on your screen. Together, let's strive to live with intention and grace. Stay resilient.